Hello everyone, it is your friend Roscoe McGillicuddy here, introducing you to a brand new series that I am calling Roscoe Plays Games and Doesn't Yell at You, because let's face it, there are plenty of YouTubers out there who are doing nothing but yelling and screaming, and after a while that gets really annoying, uh, so I'm not going to do that to you. We're just going to play the game and have some fun. And I thought it would be fun to start a new series of videos where we build an empire together in a survival world. So we are now in a brand new map that has a random seed. And if you want to play along, I'm playing in version 1.19.2. Uh, that's because I am using a shader that is only updated to that version. And I kind of like the shader, so I'm going to play in 1.19.2. If you want to play along, you can enter this seed number here too. So there's the seed number right there. You can copy it down, plug it into your own Minecraft game, and build your own empire in the same world. So we'll go ahead and get started because the first day is always the most crucial and we are obviously up here on a mountainside which is not a great place to build an empire. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get down from here as quickly as possible and try to get some wood from some of these trees. Okay, so with the wood that I have gotten I have created a crafting table and I'm going to make a full set of wooden tools. So when I get a full set of tools, I like to order them as you see down in my hotbar below because I want to know where they are when I need them. So if I find myself being ambushed by an enemy, I can hit one and just have my sword at the ready. Uh, likewise, if I am mining, I can just hit two and that way I have everything right where I need it. I see a lot of people just kind of put things randomly and that just doesn't work for me. Okay, so now that we are fully equipped, we are going to look for one of two things. We're either going to look for sheep so we can make a bed to stay the night in case nighttime falls, or we're going to try to look for a town. We'll see what we can find. Pretty cool that we found some coal right off the bat here. I'll go ahead and take that. All right, that was a great little coal vein. We started out with 27 coal. That's a great way to get started. This is really cool. I happened upon this river. Rivers allow you to travel greater distances without burning as much as your hunger bar. So I'm going to use that while I look for either some sheep or a town. Okay guys, so clearly I've been swimming all day and all night and I have not found a single sheep or a single town so this has not gotten off to a very good start but I do think I see a light way off in the distance there. I'm hoping that that is a town and if it is I'm going to try to stay the night there. I see a number of bad mobs over here on the shore so I'm going to have to make a break for it and run for my life. I'm taking a big chance here especially with all these skeletons around. Uh, let's see what we can find. All right, as I get closer, that definitely looks like a town, so that's awesome. And meanwhile, I'm noticing that this big old prairie is looking pretty good for a great place to start a large farm. So we may actually choose to start our empire here. Yes, definitely a town. We are going to find a bed and make ourselves nice and safe. Okay, so there is day one, and the sun is rising on day two, and we're going to get started in looking around our new area here and seeing if this is a good place to start our empire. I've waited a few minutes for the nighttime mobs to burn up in the daytime, and now we're going to take this opportunity to look around a little bit. The first thing I want to look at is that prairie that we went through on the way here, and uh, yeah, it looks very usable. There are plenty of animals, so we can make a good farm, and we can build a fortress down here and hunt some mobs. I'll show you how I like to do that later on. And uh, meanwhile, we can look and see what this town has to offer too. One of my favorite things about towns is the free food that you find in the chests and the free chests. Sorry to take your stuff there, Gerald. Thanks for closing the door on me, Gerald. Pretty cool, I found myself a pair of leather pants so I don't have to go around naked anymore. Excuse me, Reginald. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this stone cutter. Thank you for your donation. All right, so this town has a really big cave right in the smack middle of it, and maybe we will go into that cave later on when we go looking for resources. All right, so this town really got us started off with a lot of good stuff. The next thing I'm going to do is explore the area around this town to make sure that there isn't a better place for us to start, but it looks like the sun is getting low in the sky, and I don't want to be out in the wilderness uh, in this state, so I'm going to go ahead and find a house to kind of make my own for the time being. This house looks nice. And the way that I like to take a house away from one of the villagers is I like to destroy the door and put dirt in its place and that way the villager can't get in and that way when I sleep I don't have to worry about having to kick a villager out of the bed. I can hear the voice of the villager that usually uses this house and he must be outside and he can't get in. Uh, sorry. 
All right, not too shabby of uh, day two. We got a really good start in terms of some resources. And today we are going to be exploring the area around to see what else we have to work with. But before I go exploring, I'm gonna get a full set of stone tools just so I have a little bit more power. And I even got plenty of torches to get started with too. Okay, so now that I have a full set of stone tools, let's go looking around to see what we can find around here. First thing I notice about this town is that it's surrounded by some very high mountains and I figure I can get a really good view from up there, so I'm going to climb that mountain and see what we can see. Okay, so we've made it to the top and I can see the entire town down below and it looks like out off in this direction there's a little bit of room. There might be a big cave down there too. Very good. We can explore that. But uh, oh, hey look, there's another town altogether. So let's see what we got there. Oh sweet, look at that. This guy's got a bunch of diamonds and some iron pickaxes in his chest. So wow, that is a great find to have diamonds this early on in the game. Wow. Wow, I spent most of the day ransacking this town, so I'm going to spend the night here and then head back to the other town down in the valley in the morning. All right, rise and shine, guys. It's time to head back to our regular town. Home sweet home. And since I was fortunate enough to find some iron pickaxes, I'm going to get rid of my stone pickaxe. Don't need it anymore. All right, so I spent some time looking at some of the other areas around this town, like up on these hills and over those hills in the valley as well. And I have determined that this is going to be the best place to start our empire. And mostly just because it's so wide open, there's a great cave right down here that we can start caving in. And there are plenty of animals that we can use to make a farm. But the first thing I have to do is clear out all of this wild grass so that I can actually see what I'm working with. So let's go. trader let's see what he has okay he wants to trade some emeralds for some glowstone some vines light gray dye brown mushroom pointed dripstone or blue ice those are horrible deals and you sir I will be ignoring enough is enough all right, let's go take a look at what we have done here now that we have cleared all of the field of all of the wild grass. All right, that's better. Now we can see a lot more clearly and we can build our farm here and build our fortress as well so we can start our empire. All right, guys, that's a good place to stop this video, but you can join me next time when we are gonna start building our farm and doing some caving to find some more resources. So until then, do something nice for somebody today and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.